Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can shop on Jumia Marketplace. Now, being a shopper and a successful seller on Jumia myself, I think it's time for me to show people how to identify and buy the best product and prices when shopping on the platform. As you can see now, we're on the Jumia Marketplace. You can either shop using your mobile phone or your computer. On your phone, you can use your phone's browser to shop or you can use the Jumia shopping application, which I think is more convenient. But for now, I'm currently using my computer and the process is basically the same with using your Jumia app on your phone. So the first thing to do when you want to shop on Jumia is to come over here and sign in. So let me just log out because I already signed in. What you do, come over to this account section, click on it, click on sign in. That's when you have an existing account with Jumia. But if you don't have an existing account, click here to create an account via email. Now once you click here, put in your first name, last name, email address, password that you will not forget, your phone number, click on the click here to read the Jumia terms and conditions. Make sure you go through it at least just to have a basic understanding of what you're getting into. All right. Especially uh, the return and refunds policy, which is very, very important. And once you're done with that, you click that you accept. I will advise you to uncheck this so that you don't receive a bunch of emails from Jumia. So you'll check this and you click create an account. Now Jumia will ask you to verify your email address and when you're done with that with your email, you simply come over to Jumia and you log in or sign in. When you sign in with your email address and or your password. All right, so now you're signed in. Let me quickly explain some of this uh, session here. When you come over to this section, you click on it. If you're using your laptop, you can see your account over here. You can go there and change some settings about your account here. All the orders that you've placed on Jumia is going to appear there. Right here, inbox, you see messages here are saved items. So, for example, if you like a particular item on Jumia, you can easily save it so that you can buy them later. Or here, you can see Jumia coupon. I don't really use this session. I don't don't need it. So, if you want to buy a product on Jumia, you can either scan through the homepage and see if the product you want to buy is kind of is right here. So you can just easily click on it and buy. Or you can go to the category section here. So let's say I want to buy a smartphone. I go to phones and tablets, click on the smartphone section. It's going to take me down to the smartphone section of Jumia. So right here, I'm going to see lots and lots of smartphones. So you can either sort by the brand, the official name of the product. So I want to buy Infinix or Techno or Rymo phone, stuff like that. Or I just want to scan through. Or what I like to do, I would like to go down, down this page, this, this section. Where I see the keyword smartphone, and right here you can see they have 172,000 uh, products found on this keyword smartphone. But this is too much for me. What I want to do, I want to narrow this down based on different factors. So, you know, your phone, you're going to see it as filter. So, on the filter session, remember I said I want to show you how to buy the best product on the best price. Now, first of all, I will come here and I will choose that. I want my, my budget is 150,000 naira, okay? So, that's my budget for a smartphone. And I want I want I don't want to see anything less than ninety thousand naira. So I want to see product from ninety k to hundred and fifty k because that's within my budget. That's the kind of phone I want to buy. So right now you can see we have only two thousand nine hundred products found on this keyword. Right here, what I want to do I like to see products that have reviews of above four stars. Right. So you can see now we have only two hundred and thirty. Now this is some some mistake that people do. They come on Jumia to buy product. They just buy any product without taking note of these things. And you end up buying trash because people sell trash on Jumia, trust me. But with these filters, you can get the best item. So let's scroll down and choose a product. I want to show you something. So let's say, for example, this television. I don't know why it's showing on smartphone. So maybe it's a smart TV. Or let's use this phone, for example. So right here, you can see that it has 25 uh, verified ratings. So I'm going to click on the ratings. That's the first thing I showed you. Read the ratings. Make sure what the people are saying is good. And sometimes I like to see what this person said because what they say sometimes is critical. That doesn't mean it can change my view on the product because it has lots and lots of uh, 21 people gave it five star, which is really, really good. Now, the next thing I like to look at when I'm buying product, I look at the seller selling this particular product. Now, when you come to seller's performance, this is very, very important when you're buying products. Right now, you can see this, this seller has 66%, which is good. And it has some followers here. You see, order fulfillment rate very poor, meaning these sellers have some products listed and they don't have it in stock. So, when you place an order, you might not get it delivered because the person has very poor 
or order fulfillment rates, right? Yeah, quality is excellent, meaning many of the sellers buying product from their store. If you want to click and see other product from this particular seller, you just click here, click on seller information. Here, you can see that this particular seller has 40 products. Many people do not know these things I'm showing you right here, all right? So I like to see other product the person is selling, if those other product has good or bad reviews. Now, this is the product we just newly uh, were looking at. You can see this one has six uh, five star or just two reviews now right, right here you can see again the name of the store you are buying from the seller score you can click on this c profile when you click on that c profile this is where you see everything in bold right you will see uh the quality uh, score is excellent the customer's rating is excellent so i like to buy i'm not really concerned about this one because if i place an order and i didn't get the products i'm going to get refunded all right so i can scroll down and see the reviews people gave for different products the person sells different phones they sell different products when that is done i can easily click on the product click the product back and either i save this product remember i showed you earlier that you can save items and i save this product to buy it next time if i'm not ready to buy it right now you can see product successfully added to your wish list so you can easily see that product when you click on save items or i add this product to my cart when you click on that you want to complete your purchase by adding something else i just want to skip and proceed i just want to buy only the phone so once you do that this is going to show right here on your cart so you click on your cart if you are ready to, you're ready to check out so right here you can see other products i've added to my cart you can easily remove the products on your cart if you don't want to buy it right now so let me take this one out for now let me save it for later because i want to buy this or you can remove this also and save it for later if you want to buy so now you have this phone on your cart you can see right here this is the subtotal now this is not what you are paying right that's not what you are paying so right now if you are happy with this you click on checkout when you click on checkout it's going to take you to a page where you see your shipping fee so depending on where you are staying i'm staying in lagos so i'm paying 520 naira for shipping which is really 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 cheap so the grand total i'm paying 144,000 naira to get this item delivered to me so once you're happy with that you scroll down now these options let me show you these are delivery options remember the first option is your address these are your, your address details now if you don't want them to deliver it at this particular address click simply click here to change then you choose any address you want i'm going to show you a video next that will show you how to buy for people how to make money basically shopping on jumia that's another video i'm going to do so that's where you use this session very well okay so, but now you are happy this is your address this is your phone number is correct the next one is your delivery method what kind of how do you want them how do you want it delivered do you want it to be delivered at your doorstep or you want to go and pick up at jumia shipping station which you will have to choose a station close to you so once you once you're done but in my case i like them to like it to, del to deliver to me i don't like that stress once you click that you scroll down select a pickup station that's if you choose this uh section but if you don't you proceed to the next step now this next step which is the third step is the payment method if you want to pay right now or you want to do cash on delivery if i do all my research and all my filtration and i like the product i just want to pay most times and get the product down to me i don't like this cash on delivery option except maybe i'm not sure that i'll go with this but most times i'll just click on pay with my card and I'll scroll down. If you have a Jimmy voucher or coupon, you can put it here to reduce the price, but I don't usually do that. So click on confirm order. It's going to take you to Jimmy Pay where it will ask you to insert your card. You can see this is my card. This is the card I normally use to pay. I use my Visa card from my bank. So in your case, there will not be any card. So you can easily insert your card. Right? Click on this. Okay, these are the cards I used to pay. So if one didn't work, I choose the next one. So here, you put in your card name, right? The expiry date uh, here, the number at the back, the three figures at the back, then you click pay now. Then this money should be on your card. Jumia is going to charge your card and that money is going to be paid to the to Jumia, all right? And Jumia will bring that product to you. So that's basically how to shop on Jumia when you use the category section. But if you want to search for the product, so let's say I want to search for a product like 20,000 MAH power bank. I just click on that and I click search. So same thing applies. It's going to show me different uh, products. I can go here if I have a budget. Again, you can go here on the price section and choose within your budget or you can just scan through. I said, okay, this one is 20,000, has 17 
our four star reviews so let's say i'm happy with this one for example i click on it this opens up like this again i click here to see the reviews after i like the products too bulky amazing so i will read these reviews very well you understand seven people gave it five star four star three star this is really cheap for a twenty thousand image so go down over to the seller seller information you can see that the quality score is really poor meaning the seller has some other product they sell that gave them really bad reviews so i would likely buy from this seller like this even though this quality score is really poor so basically this is how you kind of check and vet the product you are also checking the seller score checking the seller information and reading through the reviews and the descriptions see that what you're seeing here is what you get now what if after going through all these things you bought the product and the product is not what you want let me show you how you can apply and for refund or return and get your money back so to do that you come over here you click on this name session and you go to orders where you see all the orders so like i said you just place an order the product came and you don't you don't like it it's not it doesn't meet your expectation so let, let me use this particular product as an example right so let's say i bought this product and it gets delivered to me you shouldn't allow it to be more than seven days so this particular product is less than seven days i click on see details now when you click on see details you're going to see these three buttons right here if you see you are eligible for to uh, for refund seven days for the marketplace order 15 days for jumia official store so this particular order is from the marketplace and it's less than seven days so i can actually request for a refund click on request a re return so right here so please fill in details of your return how many quantity you bought you put the quantity there please select the reason for return uh, item stopped working package was damaged item received user expired so you put in your details here right item let's say item not working right so you write something like this item is not working upon receiving upon receiver or when i receive it yeah or when i received it okay i want to request a return and refund and get a refund yeah and get a refund so you can type something like this and you click next i let me see you click next your your return is not eligible for this reason okay so let's say your return is eligible yeah it's going to go through jimia will contact you and they will send an agent to come pick up the item and after seven days of checking that the item is good you didn't damage it and st stuff like that they're going to return your money back to you and you can use that money to purchase another item on jimia so i i hope you've learned how to buy on jumia and if you have any question please leave it in the comment section if you're new to my channel this video is kind of different from what i make i want to teach people how to make money on jumia in the next video i'm going to show you how you can make money shopping on jumia and i also make money selling on jumia i have other videos where i teach how to do that so if you like content like this please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friend or whoever you want them to watch and I will see you on the next video.